Hi, in this video we're going to take our Jackson library and create some JSON formatted text. So this is the third part of this series so far and we finally arrived at the point where we're using an object mapper thing. And so this, this class here is going to help us write data to a JSON file. So if you want to know all the details of how this works, there is actually a manual page that you can look at. So I did a Google search and found that the Jackson Docs is listed here on GitHub. So it looks like they recommend three tutorials. So Jackson Tutorial by Study Trails. And so they have some good examples here of how things would work. And uh, I'm going to be basing my work on some of the things that I read in the tutorials. So here's how this works. Uh, I'm going to take my new instance here, OM, which is Object Mapper, and type in the word write. And I've got lots of things here. I think that what I'm looking for is write value. So there's different ways to write values. And so I want to write to a file result. So the second one and the file that I need to put in there is going to be a new file. And you can name the file whatever you like. So I'm going to call mine uh, cars.json. So now the second input here is value. So what value am I going to put in here? Well, I want to save the list. So that was the parameter passed in here, which is the car list. I've got an issue with the uh, importing, it looks like. And I also have another issue, probably have to have try catch. Okay, so now we've got ourselves a full function here that says we are going to write to the cars file. So that's pretty much it. So there's one line here that's going to help us out. So this should be able to work now. I should be able to write values. So all I have to do now is create a uh, call to this function here. So I go back into my testing script and I'm going to put in the new function, which is called, a, let's see, first of all, I have to put data management, management, and let's call it DM, equals a new data management ob object. So then I write the function, which was DM dot, uh, what was that? Save all values? No, write all values. There it is. Write all data. So that was my function name and now the list. So what is the list? The list was defined up here at CL. Okay, so this should write all the data. Let's go ahead and run the program. And I get no results on the output, but I should see something over here in the uh, files. So let's do a refresh on the project and there is a new file somewhere let's see there it is cars.json so if I double click that I can see I have a list of cars and it's in a long format kind of a hard to read one one more thing I'm going to change then I'm going to come back into my data writer object and just before write value I'm going to put in another property so dot uh, I think it was called pretty something. There it is, set default right with default pretty win printer. That's the one. And then another period. So this little extra function will reformat the data. So let's run it again. And let's check out cars.json. And sure enough, it is now in JSON format. So you can see that each one of these is an object and it looks like it's in a list. So it's a, an array list. So we've written to a JSON file. Congratulations. Now the next step is I want to be able to use read all data and get the information back. First of all, I'm going to create a cars list object and then return that as the uh, data type is, is indicated here on line 10. So I'm going to define this CL as a return value from an object mapper. So the object mapper object, and then I'm going to put some appends here. So we're going to have read for read for class is going to tell me what kind of class it's expecting so the class that i'm expecting is called cars list dot class so now after here i'm going to put another period and say uh, read uh, value and then there are different things i can put in here one of them is a file name so i'm just going to put in the file and once again i'm just going to put in the cars dot json file name and now I have a exception issue. So I need to do try catch and it'll surround this attempt. 
So it should read correctly if this does exist. And then when I'm finished with the reading, I'm going to return CL as the type of this functions uh, required. So that is the read process. So create an object mapper and two extensions, read for with the name of the class that it's expecting. And the read value comes from the file that I'm inputting here. So I will create a new car list. I'm going to call it CL2 and it will be the same data type. And CL2 is going to get its new value from dm.readAllData. So remember, dm is data management, and that function readAllData is supposed to return a list. So I want to print this out to, just to see if it actually prints correctly. So system out print line, the list read from the JSON file is, and then I'm going to print out the uh, contents of this class, which is CL2.getCarList, and then I want to turn that into a string. So let's see what happens. I run this program and I have an issue, it says. So the issue I have is listed here. It says unrecognized token cars. I was expecting true, false, or null. Where did that come from? So I think it's up in here in read value. I put in the uh, name of a text file. What I went, meant to say is new file. And then I'm going to put those in parentheses. So it, it's asking for an actual file name, not just a, a string. So let's try that again. We'll run it. And now what do we have? We have nothing for results. And uh, we have another error. It says here, cannot construct instance of car. It says no creators like a default constructor exist. So I need to go into the car class and create a default constructor. Apparently I don't have one. Let's go into look at car. And sure enough, we have a car with a parameterized constructor, but nothing for a default. So let's just make one public car. And so the default constructor has no parameters. And I'm just going to leave it empty. And let's run it again. This time we get a success. So it says here is the list. You can see that I have a bunch of items in here and they've all been added into my array list. Okay, just to see if this is actually an array list. It looks like everything's just kind of shoved together into one thing. I'm not sure if the printing is what I want. So I'm going to test this out. I'm going to say system.outprintline, the second car is, and then I'm going to get the car list and print item one, which is the second car. And you can see that the second car indeed is a Chevy Camaro. So that pretty much shows you how to read and write JSON formatted data. And so this will come in handy later when we're trying to do a whole bunch of classes and save the results. It does a lot of the parsing work for you. And so JSON is a widely recognized data format that you should become familiar with. You'll not only see it in Java, but you'll see it in C Sharp. You'll see it in PHP and JavaScript, of course. It's everywhere. So there you go. We've got a JSON formatted file save system.